Hello guys, this is the second part of the story, Caruthers. So, the two friends hurried home, but in a few minutes, they were back in the park with their musical instruments. Emily was carrying her tuba, and Eugene had his tambourine. What a good idea, said Eugene. When Caruthers hears our beautiful music, he'll be his old friendly self again. I'm sure that he'll be very grateful. Turning the bend, th they saw Caruthers still sitting in the same place, still gazing at the falling leaves. Ever so quietly, they tiptoed up behind him. Placing the mouthpiece of her tuba to her lips, Emily puffed up her cheeks and began to play. Softly at first, and then quite loudly, Eugene tapped on his tambourine. Oompa, oompa, tap, tap, oompa, oompa, tap, tap. It sounded something like that, but Caruthers was not impressed. Instead of listening to the music, he put his paws to his ears and growled. That is the most awful noise I have ever heard in my life. He promptly got up and walked away. Emily Pig uh, and Eugene looked at each other. Maybe we should have practiced more, said Eugene. No, replied his friend. Some bears just don't and never will appreciate good music.